Last week, uh, last week Wednesday, we started a message and we said the righteous will flourish. <laughs> yeah. The righteous will what? Flourish. Will flourish. The righteous will flourish. The righteous will flourish. It's not a statement that needs to be valid. It's final. Mm. Yeah. It, it, it has a full stop. The one who released it is sure of it. We, 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 we are wired that way. Yeah. We are uh, uh, regardless of circumstances is embedded in our nature as righteous people. That is why as a righteous person, you can't afford to look at yourself and to look at your life based on what you are going through now. Number one. Number two, you can't afford to, even if you are doing this one thing or you are working in this company and things are going well, don't associate your prosperity with that one particular source of sustenance at that time. Because your sustenance does not come from the company you are working for. Your sustenance comes from God. Yes. It comes from God. Yes. You are not where you are because of your company. You are where you are because God wants you to be where you are. And you are not going to get where you are going because of where you are working now or because you are going to get there because you are predestined to be there. Yes. Yeah. In Abayako, it's final. Mm -hmm. You are getting there. Your company or no company, you are getting there. Yes. You are getting there. Jesus. Mm. You are getting there. That is why, allow me to say, Nantanje, there is nothing that can put you down. Mm. There is nothing that can stop you. The enemy can throw the hardest punches at you. But there's nothing that can stop you. There's nothing that can stop you. My man, hey, foolish, you don't know what I'm going through. Hey, I'm going through the most. Listen, I'm saying to you, regardless, despite and in spite of what you're going through, there is nothing that that can put that can put you down. Mm. When I, even if even if the enemy can throw a punch and knocks you light out, mm. and you are on your side, you will rise again. You have the spirit of Christ inside of you that raised him from the dead. When they have declared him clinically dead, when they have declared him, but if it was this time, before they take him to the grave, they call a doctor to certify the death so that the doctor can sign that he's dead. If it was the pro, if, if, if they were following the processes that we are following today, a doctor would have come and certify him to be dead. But on Sunday, he was alive because he had inside of him the spirit that raises people from the dead, even when actually even your situation is not beyond repairs. And if you don't see how it will come, it's okay. It's okay. You done that that people. The righteous will flourish. You know, we flourish. Yeah, we flourish, man. We flourish. 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 Hallelujah. And we said, read, read. Psalm 
Psalms 92, verse 12. Psalms 92, verse 12. Mm. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Yeah. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Mm. Sati, Sati, the righteous, they flourish. They grow like a cedar in Lebanon. And one of the features of the cedar tree is that it is strong and majestic. I think the Amplified Version puts it out there. You don't even have to go and research it. It puts it out there. Maybe I'm so mindful that they are Like, 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 like the, the cedar of Lebanon. Mm. Like the cedar of Lebanon. Mm. Strong and majestic. And I said, you guys, when, 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 when in the spiritual realm, you are as strong and majestic like the cedar of Lebanon. Mm. Mm. Can, can I... Can you repeat like I can repeat I just want to repeat this. You remember I had to share the piece with your guys. Making a contrast. Because sometimes they, they, they stop looking at people and judging them based on their outward appearance, number one. Number two, based on. That's why the Bible, even not as the church, that's why the Bible says in James, what in Nina? You, 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 you take someone who is, who is covered in dweller, you take them and you sit them in front, and then you take someone who does not look, who looks like we look, we mustn't behave like sales people in the house of the Lord. Yeah. Mustn't behave like sales people. Sometimes you get a shop, you get a shop. Now me and the hair are not. I and the hair share a pool. Get a shop up on the town, get a shop, get a house, come and turn it full, full, full suit, and then full shirt. Why? Ah, the shirt. Under pain, they buy because who to get when and they thought that you can't buy. No, 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 I want my size in this one. My mama told me because they don't know that you can pay for this thing. Said, no, I want this one. I'm taking this one. And then they start. So we can't behave like sales people in the house of the Lord judging people based on how they look. But, that's why a righteous person, you also don't look at them. And, let's leave other people who are looking at you. Let me talk to you. Don't look at yourself based on your circumstances that are surrounding you. Yeah. You are strong and majestic. Mm. One of, one of the, 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 one of shall I say, characteristics of the cedar tree. They say, Amanda, it grows regardless of the, 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 the surrounding. You can put it anywhere, it will, it will, it will flourish. Mm. Yeah. You, you, you can put a cedar tree in any... That's why, that's why, no matter what can do in your life, you are bound to flourish. Yeah. You are bound to flourish. Mark my words. You can write them down. Especially if you are struggling today. You are bound. You are made. You are predestined to flourish. You will. You will. You will. You will. No, no, no. You will. You will. Oh. And, and even your situation. Your situation. You. You. You will have the last laugh. Oh, yes. Your call. Yes. yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. You will have. Come and I'm speaking it. I'm declaring it prophetically. Amen. And he moves it. And I don't know what you're going through. God, you will have the last laugh. You may be crying today, but you will have the last laugh. Yeah. You may be going through the most today, but you will have the last laugh. Jesus. 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 Jesus.
for permanence. Yeah. It's set up for permanence. Yeah. Let the house of the Lord be your permanent dwelling place. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. This, 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 this tree, Pamela, it's planted in the house of the Lord. Oh, Tito, my prayer for you is that you will be planted in the house of the Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. That is a simpler. May you be planted in the Lord of the house. Amen. Oh. But sometimes, we are one who are planted in the house of the Lord, but not necessarily in the Lord of the house. But may you be planted in the Lord of the house. In the Lord of the house. Yes, Lord. Not in the programs of the house. Yes. Mm. Not in the positions of the house. Yes. Not in the activities of the house. Yes. But in the law. In the law. In the law. In the Lord of the programs. Yes. Because when you are planted in the Lord, you, you, are, you, are, you are unshaken. Yes. You are unshaken. Whether don't be planted in the planning, but be planted in the Lord of the planning. Jesus. Don't be planted anywhere else. Because the house, as the house grows, it becomes busy with a whole. I said the other day, we must not be busy with the businesses of the Lord. But we need to be finding find ourselves being busy with the Lord of the businesses. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So this tree is planted. May you be planted. I pray that you will be planted. Not, 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 not. Tem not temporarily placed but planted because when you plant something you want it to develop roots there you want it to develop roots for strength and nourishment because the roots they act as a source of nourishment because the tree absorbs its, nourish its, 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 its nutrition from the soil Number one. Number two, the roots are for stability. Because even if the wind blows, the reason why scientifically, if the wind blows, it's supposed to fall over. But if it blows, there is the roots, they act as a counter force. So that things blowing in your life, we will not see you falling over. Because you are rooted. Oh. You are not just placed. You are not just here for convenience. Hey. So. That is why you call the power starts changing. You don't come in the house of the Lord when you have time. But you make time because you know that your coming here sustains your life. Sustain your life because you are a cedar tree. You are planted in this place. Your roots are in the house of the Lord. You know that for you to be nourished and grow and, and, and exhibit the properties of a cedar tree, you need to find nourishment from someone. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Be firmly rooted. Firmly rooted in the house of the Lord. Be rooted in the house of the Lord. Be established in the Lord of the house. Be unshaken. The only way you planted is to be unshaken. Because it would serve us me. Think I pray for people who will not only come here for convenience, but people who will be rooted. About who will be rooted, not in anything else, but first in the Lord. In the Lord. In the Lord. Because when people are rooted in the activities, 
When they are excluded from activities by Quebec and they don't want it. They don't want to be here. When people are excluded from positions by a Quebec and they don't want to be here. You see people they have a person because they, they either they want positions or they want to be kept in positions. And we don't we don't do that, but we do that as because it is a service, it comes natural. Comes natural. Because we are doing it as unto the Lord. So be immovable. Be rooted. I pray that you will be rooted in prayer. Be rooted in prayer. Be rooted in the word. Be rooted in the word. If you ask. Be rooted in fellowship. Make time to come to fellowship. Move things around to be in fellowship. Yes, yes, you know, and then and, and the woman says, Yes, a foot. Doesn't matter, even if the good day, pee, 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 pee. I never go and no, no, even if I come here. Just when you share the grace of oh, about 20 years. Oh, yes, I don't mind. I mean, just to see you, even if it's after the grace, if I see you walking up, oh, for the same rooms I was like that. Amen. I don't know if you tell them about the As a brother, I'm not saying if it doesn't make sense to you, I'm not saying just come and just come and see us. If it doesn't make sense to you, I'm just saying that's how. That's how, that's how much I was passionate about fellowship. About fellowship. Just to see how I don't have a But fellowship. Be rooted in fellowship. Don't make it something for, for, for take it as a, as, a, as a leisure. Something that you do it when you have time or when you can. And therefore when you can't, you know, you can just sit. Find it difficult to sit at home while we fellowship. Find it difficult. The worst in the mind of the one is I like this. This is a crack egg. I can't take a long shot at the TV. Okay, I'm on the better bus and TV now. I'm on the bus and TV. I'm going to buy a bus and TV. So, and then, and then continue, I'm on the bus and TV. Tell us. Planted in the house of the Lord, mm. it will flourish in the courts of our God. It flourishes, Amanda, in the courts. Yeah. It flourishes. In other words, because when you are flourishing, one way it speaks to prosperity. It prospers. Don't it prospers? But I would advise in those longer when all when things are coming together, then we see you going there. There's one of you, you know, with your car there. But when things were going, when, 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 when it was tough, you were here. We can even see the pictures. No, 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 you see that one there. Go to our Facebook page, you will see her there. She's the one that was crying. That one there. But now she's got the job, she's got the car. When she flourishes, she goes outside of the course. But the seed that flourishes in the courts. In fact, the seed that uses the same prosperity to even flourish even more inside the courts. May we be like the seed that tree. That when we flourish, we flourish in the courts. We flourish inside the presence. That our prosperity will not take us away from the presence. Funda mm-hmm. 14. Growing in grace. Growing in grace. Let, 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 me, let me finish off, Linda. This seed that's written, well, let, let, let me see Kevin in it, but the seed that really grows in grace. Growing in grace. 
We all know what grace is God's unmerited favor. Yeah. Grace to turn end. In other words, long to when this tree prospers, we can't attribute your prosperity to your education, for instance. Yeah. We can't attribute your prosperity to your connections. But grace says, when you are about to fall and give up, but grace comes and picks you up. Grace says, when thousand fall on your left and a ten thousand on the right, when you say, Gabu Talabe, see what? They've been falling, now it's my turn. Then grace shows up and says, when well, you are the sitter tree, thousand fall, ten thousand this side, but when you remain standing, Grace shows up and says, You are not sleeping. You are not, it's not your portion. And you will and you will flourish in ways that no man can explain. You, you, you will flourish in ways that now you can't explain. Apostle, I know my peers. Some of them are educated even more than me. I don't know how is it that it's me who got this promotion. Yes. Because you must know that the explanation is that you are a said that you grow in grace. Mm. It's not on merit, it's on favor. Yes. And lastly, language of Narisha, it has got something to do with the environment. That the tree gets planted in. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Lord. So you can't divorce the environment from the prosperity of this tree. I'm praying, Kantanas and Diti, may the Lord help you with spiritual wisdom to understand the kind of environment that is spiritually suited for you. From now henceforth. The environment, the environment, because there are people who 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 are on Zagalayo because they are in wrong environments. But may the Lord always plant you in the M7Z. I declare and I decree that even as M7Z may the environment. Be, be transformed because you are there. Because you are there. Because you are a sinner. So you can't be found in an environment that is not conducive. Hallelujah. We have the thermostat. Thermostat regulates the temperature. Yeah. But the temperature reads and reflects the temperature of the surrounding. Mm -hmm. But Nina, may you be like thermostats. Thermostat corner immortal say to say this is all because no thermostat. Thermostat, it motor when the when the car heats up, it gets hot. It gets hot. The thermostat reads the temperature and opens up to regulate the temperature. So may you be like, may you have spiritual thermostats. Is this what will read the environment and regulate the environment in the spirit? So the cedar tree flourishes. May you be like a cedar tree, as well. And I want you to know, write it down and underline it if you've already written it down. You are predestined to flourish. Don't you ever look at your surrounding. Don't you ever look at what you're struggling with now. You are predestined. You are wired. You are designed that way. You are set up that way. You are calibrated that way. The system Yako knows nothing less than flourishment. Tell us again, yourself.